Doctor Who, the Demons. Episode 2 Reunion HQ room The rugby final match finishes Yates 13 nil. Benton they're, lu- they're lucky It was at 113 nil. What a useless lot Benton hands Yates his winnings Yates we missed the dig Benton we might have just catch at the end of it Benton changes channels Yates, look, there's Joe. Joe from Doc TV, Doctor. And on comes the caption reading Devil's End, temporary. Fault, BBC Three TV. Now it's a joy on TV. We seem to have lost cool contact with the borough. We, of course, resume transmission as soon as we can. In the meantime, here's some music. Yates Benton, got the, we've got to go on the BBC and see if you find out what's going on down there. I try to raise the brigadier. Benton, right, sir. Barrow entrance. Joe and the TV crew are clearing soil with the doctor and Horner. Joe, look at him. Please hurry, please hurry. Carriage caravan. Kevin. Master, oh great Zill. Master, thank thee for rising. My command, behold my worthy disciples. They know now of thy presence. I will seek to help to fill the to fill my desires. If I command them to rise, their feet to welcome me. A zeal to my will shall be the whole of the law. Kevin, to do thy will shall be the law of the law. Master Zeal, hear me, let this stone mark a point of place. Near the way wall is a square raised slab, a cult compass, rose, painted on it. Master, let us must meet together later that shall I, I must, thou mayest learn my intent, that my will so motivate it be. Coven as well, my will, so may it be. Master, there, uh, you have nothing to fear, as long as you do my the will of the master. Go now and say the word of any man, to any man, of what I wait my command, Barrow. The doctor's still covered in ice crystals. Harry, Harry's gone too. Joe, no, he can't be. Look, you must get a doctor. Harry, look, love face. Look, love face it, we've had it. Joe, but there must be a doctor in the village uh, or somewhere. Harry, look, Charlie, can I word with you a minute? Charlie, how okay, you, Harry? Harry, Charlie, take a look, take him down now. Joe, thank you, doctor. Doctor, please. Unit HQ, everyone is making telephone calls. Better now listen, this official call from Unit. Yes, yes, but gone to, yes, but gone to way, United, Benton, United Nations Intelligence Task Force. Yes. Because it's urgent. Benton, look, I warn you. You're holding information, Yates, on the phone. You will ring me back, Benton. But you must know something. Yates, right then. I'll ring you in ten minutes. Benton, well, find out and ring me back in this number. The number of Yates. No, make it five, Benton and Yates. The receiver's down. Yates, anything? Ben, no, sir. You? Yates, no. Brigadier went on some, went on somewhere after dinner. No one knows quite where. An answer on TV. Oh, sorry for the interruption. We're outside broadcast from Devil's End, but we still can't get through. Or oh, unit. Yates, oh, this is stupid. An answer on TV. Just as soon as we have some good some news for you. Yates, have good mind to go down there and find out for myself. Ben and the big news go spare, sir. I mean, we might get some news in a minute. Yates, oh, yes, sure. In the meantime, what's happening to Joe and the doctor? A coven hoof bar. The doctor is lying on the table, still stiff as a board. Reeves, too late, I'm afraid he's gone. Just like the Professor, Joe. No, he can't be dead. Reeves, I'm sorry. Joe, please, you must do something. Reeves, I can't work miracles, you know. He's just very nearly a solid block of ice. Wind Stanley. Oh, there, there. I'm sorry, my dear. There's nothing we can do, Reeves. Don't believe it. Wind Stanley, what? Reeves, get me some blankets and some hot water bottles, lots of them. Joe, is he alive then? Reeves, it's possible, but I think it, I, I, found, I failed to post. Joe, then, then there's a chance. Reeves, maybe. We must have 
constitution of lots that could be able to survive production of temperature like that. Miss Stanley, it doesn't look that tough. We really, cannot always tell by can always tell by him. Hello? Joe? What? We really, Stanley? I swear it sounds like it is. We really, Stanley what? We really, it's quite ridiculous. Must be an echo, not a atypical bone structure. We really, Stanley sounds as if what? Doctor Reeves, as if he had two hearts, one on each side. But here, Doctor. But bring blankets. Reeves. Fine, fine. Now, no more. If you got them. Joe, he's coming. Going to be all right then. Reeves, there's a chance. Ben Stanley, cheer up. Well, his life is hope, right? Joe, look. Have you got a telephone? Could see use one, please. But in the corner. Joe, oh yes, thank you. Unit HQ creates in the phone. But is he all right now? The clothes hove in. But the clothes hove bell. Joe, get, we'll get touch and go. Think, mate. Look, can you get down here right away? Unit HQ, Jace, is of course. We'll come down and chop as soon as it's light. Someone cuts the telephone cable on the white wood wall. Jace, well, hello? Joe, can you hear me? Blast, we've been cut off. A barrow, the BBC are leaving the site. Harry, well, that's the last of us. Thanks for all your help. Groom, I've been obliged, sir. Harry, can't wait to get away myself. Don't envy you, Groom. Oh, that's all right, sir. Just a bit of night duty. I enjoy a bit of peace and quiet. Groom, well, you're welcome to it, mate. Anyway, I've got my goodbye, night. Groom, bye, sir. Groom closes the five bar gate, puts up a handmade danger keep out sign. He takes a pack of sandwiches from his bag, his school spider bag. Behind him, two red lights shine from the barrow entrance. Next morning, the doctor's nicely tucked up in the bedroom in the, bu- in the pu- pub. Joe watches over him. He's only in the wicker clothes. The master plays before Andrew sells a realtor. Out of barrow, Gracie Groom is having a drink from his thermos. When the ground shakes, he turns and shadow falls across his face. The master smiles and leaves the cabin. The unit heli- helicopter, Benton and Yates, are civilian closed. Benton? Sue's be there, sir. Yates, hello. What's that? Better must be the dig. Yates, no. Beyond that, a line of that could be that could, could be hoof marks, could they? They're enormous. Benton, shall we go and see, sir? But it's better. Feel the clue and hall prints are scorched on the grass. Benton, there they are, you know, sir. Yates, hoof marks. They can't be. The yeah, man that made these would be at least thirty foot tall. Benton, well, whatever it is. Gone into the woods over there. Yates, well, we'll have to wait. Come on, first things first, Benton. What, like breakfast, you mean, sir? Yates, no, I don't mean. I don't. I mean Joe in the dock. Benton, right. Village Green, Joe is dozing by the doctor's bed. The helicopter doctor. The helicopter doctor wakes her up. Wakes her as he it lands on the green. He goes down to meet them. Benton, well, it's a red carpet then. The brass band, Yates. After last night, they can as all they deserve a lie in. Benton, all right, well, there's a the pub, sir. Yates and Joe. The clued hoof bar. Yates, are you sure you're all right, you're all right now? Joe, yes, thanks, honest. Boy, am I glad to see you too. Yates and you and the doc, Joe upstairs. Think? But I think, but he's still out cold. Yates, oh, here, poor fro. You know what a tough old bloody is. Benton, anyway, you're both safe. That's the main thing. Joe, well, don't think any there's any danger in here. But out there, Yates, look, Joe, there's something... What's going on? Yates, Joe, I don't know. Something really bad, you know. Yates, well, what do you mean? Joe, well, you know, devilish. Better look, sir. If you don't need me here, I'd like to make a quick... Take a quick read say Recky of these tracks, Yates, Joe. Benton, look, look, 15 minutes, say 20. Yates, right, but at the first sign of trouble, straight back here. Benton right. Joe, do be careful, Sergeant Benton. Ben, don't worry, miss. Oh, and don't forget the contact brigadier, sir. Benton leaves. Yates, oh, I've forgotten all about him. Ben, brigadier's bedroom. The telephone has woken the brigadier. It's dead in bed. We need a doctor. Doctor's gone where? Well, you should have known, known Corporal. I wanted to talk to him. What? What? All right, then. Wake him up, Miss Grant. I'll see. I suppose she didn't leave a telephone number either. I suppose he wouldn't do any good to ask for Captain Yates or Sergeant Benton. My helicopter, where is the devil? 
Where to? Wherever they in? Yes, I see. Get my car here right away. Yes. Contact you? Turn on the safe pot. Churchyard, hold phone. Oh, see, hurry. Help, help, help. Let me out of here. Benton hears her and runs to the church. Hold phone. I oh, see, help, help. Church Vesely, help. Oh, hold phone, I oh, see. Let me out. Oh, let me out. Benton lifts the lid of a large oak chest. Hold phone, who are you? Friend or foe? Friend and friend, I hope, madam. Benton starts to untie her. Oh, no, very perfect, oh, very perfect, gentle mate. Benton, what? Oh, you're well, you're a, da- you're, you're a damsel. She's just maybe a bit long in the tooth, but she's very grateful. Benton, very, yes, well, you're lucky I heard you. Oh, who are you? Benton, Benton, Sergeant Benton, what happened? Oh, please, Sergeant. Benton, no, army, who put you in here? Oh, Gavin, Gavin, the verger, you must get the police at once. Oh, my name's Olive. All fun, by the way. How do you do? Benton helps her out of the chest. Benton, how do you look? How do you look? How do you, how do, you do? Look, there's something going on here. Oh, hell, seems to be breaking loose. All fun. Do you know something? You're exactly right. Come on, all fun. Looks outside. All fun, shush. Benton, what is it? Man walking forward towards the church. How old Oh, oh, God. Go in. The man, the man who tied me up. Quickly, we'll hide down here. He's out of the way. Shirt's coming, home phone. Good heavens, Benton. What is it? Home phone. The gorgo is gone. Shh. The yeah, iron oil cove and Gavin comes out the steps, looks around and leaves again. Home phone, better wait till he's gone. Benton? Here, what's this? Home phone, a sign of the evil one. Keep away. Benton, for goodness sake. Home phone, you know who the bottom is? Better know who. Hold on, the Reverend Miss Reverend Miss Mister Magistrator. Better who? Hold on, the vicar, so called, the imposter. Better oh yeah, hold on. I should have realised at once, Magistrator. Minister, it's just a given name. The leader of Black Magic Coven. Better Black Magic. The stuff died out years ago. Hold on. Do you know the last which uh, act? What act was repeat, repealed? This country, nineteen fifty one. Why is it alive today as it ever was? Ben and West well. All fun? I'm sure it's safe now. I'm sure it's safe now. Gavin, what? That's what you think. Gavin has a turn with a shotgun. All you on your way, move. Ben walks up to Gavin with his hand raised. Gavin jumps at him with a shotgun to turn around. Ben goes to go, does so and kicks the gun upwards and grabs it, pushing Gavin against a pillar, a bit against his throat. The gun is good and throws Benton. If that's on Benton gets... He would have dropped the weapon, but ends up standing on a decorated, decorated stone. Suddenly he starts to convulse. Miss Holford manages to grab an elbow and pull Benton onto to safety, Gavin. All right, on his feet. Holford, don't be stupid. Can't you see he's half conscious? Gavin, then someone will have to help him. Then won't they? Holford, yes. Come along, come along. Holford drapes Benton over his shoulders. Carry him. Going right away. Come on, this way. A cloven hoof, hoof press room. Yates, doctor, doctor, wake up, Joe. You see, you've been like this for hours, Yates. We shouldn't be in hospital. We sh- well, shouldn't he be in hospital, Joe? But Doctor Reed said he shouldn't move him, Yates. Then we must have. We have just have to wait. Gavin keeps the shotgun pointed at Hawthorne and Benton. They leave the church, walk straight in the bright, the red light, strong wind. Gavin cowers at the telephone. Get Benton away. Round the corner. Then Gavin empties his weapon, and whatever it is before it, it is before he bursts the flames, the pub is a snake in the air, in red with heat, as if something goes to the church, goes into the church cabin, and, dec- and the decorated stone. The heat and the wind stop. Yates, are you all right, Doctor Eureka? Very Rockridge, Master, as well. I welcome thee. As the division of every man swerves off the road. By turning to the devil's end, the driver runes, covering his eyes, an unholy earthly noise, and his van bursts into flames. A coven hoof bar, the doctor's up and dressed. Joe, now you're sure you're all right? Look, you better come and sit in this chair over here, come on. Don't, Joe, Joe, please stop fussing. Yates, he's right. You know, better take it easy, gentlemen. Don't look, I tell you, I'm perfectly all right. A bit picky up there for a while. I admit, but it seemed it's I it soon warmed up. Joe the Wheat of Heat, yeah, so yes. The full confirmation of my theory, Joe. 
You mean you know what is caused it? Do- yes, I think so. Yates, tell us then. No, Doctor, no. Not just yet. I, m- I want to wait till I'm absolutely sure. Right, I'm going up to the di- back to the dig. Joe, Doctor, have you been in love for that place? Bert, hello. You better. I thought you had it. You better. I thought I thought you had it. But unfortunately, no, Captain Yates. You better wait here, all right? Hawthorne enters carrying Benton. Hawthorne, if you drop him, he'll go to... Go will most white right, right for a wallop. Yates, he, he's out on his feet. Doctor, get him over to the bench quickly. Brett, but here's what happened to you. Here's, here's what happened to your boy. Yates, he's been beaten up by an expert, I say. Hawthorne, oh, you might indeed say that. You might indeed. Yates, no, no, Hawthorne, oh dear. He's a very heavy young man. But I'll get a doctor. Doctor, yes, it's all right. I am a doctor. Brendan Groves, the doctor, quick, checks over him. Doctor, well, there are no broken bones or anything. Look, could you get me some hot water and some hot sweet tea, perhaps? But yes, thank sure. Doctor, thank you very much, and thank you too, Miss Hawthorne. Hawthorne, you know who I am? Doctor, of course, of course. It's a great pity they didn't listen to you. They didn't listen to you in the first place, Hawthorne. They only had. Oh, what a tell. I have to tell them now. Bickley, your master's on the telephone. Master, both alive, are they? The others? I see, very well. You've been dealt with. Now, you better get it back inside, before they come suspicious. A cloven hollow car. Bar, Yanks, it's, it, it was this fellow, Kevin, who did him over. Oh, for no, no, it was the elements of the cabin. Dr. Element, element, no, come for, no, no, it's elementals of Kevin. Dr. Elementals? Hawthorne, yes, the dirt creatures of the devil. Yates, did you say the devil? Hawthorne, yes, dear boy. Say to Lucifer, the Prince of Darkness, Beelzebub. Hold it, beast, call him what you like. He was there. Doctor, you saw the devil? Hawthorne, yes. Doctor, what did he look like? Hawthorne, well, it was a glimpse, no more. Twenty, thirty feet high. The horns were here, there, and the face. Doctor, the devil? Doctor, look, Mrs. Hawthorne, I agree with you the first with you about from the first about the danger. Now I think you have overtly mistaken. Whatever else you saw, certainly not the devil. Hawthorn? But it was. It's a Satan's cult in his village. And last night he held a sub bat. Yes, a sub hat? The old phone, yes, an old and uh, an old summary. I call up the devil. Though uh, when it worked, the devil came. Doctor Nonsense, Joe. Miss Hawthorne, who is the leader of this cult? Hawthorne, the new vicar, calls himself Magistrate. Uh. Doctor Magistrate, yes, of course. I should have known. Joe, what? Doctor Joe, did you not? Did you fail Latin as well as science? Magistrate is Latin word for master. Rose, the living man flags down an approaching car. Bringing it here. What's up, man? I wouldn't go any further, mate. Look what happened to my van. The brigadier decided to get out of the car. Brigadier, petrol fire? Man, no, just went out with a flash. Brigadier, during the earth tremors, was it? Man, no, just off it stopped. About to get back and dry back to the village and bingo. Off it went. Brigadier, is that what do, that devil's end over there? Brigadier points with his circle stick. Promptly bursts into flames. He turns again uh, the ground beneath the area is black. Brigadier, must be some sort of a heat barrier. We would get, try getting in from the south. Me and the doctor and Joe were clearing the fallen tree, which they cut into manageable pieces. Doctor? Right, get a saw, will you? Joe, yes. Bessie can drive on. But coming in from the south, the brigadier is stopped by another haze heat. He tests it from a dead twig. Twig. Brigadier, right, that settles it. We'd better try and raise the doctor. A coven and hove bent bar. Yates has got a walkie talkie now. Yates, and that's about it, sir. Over. Road. The brigadier, I see Yates. So the doctor has frozen stiff at a barrow was, and then relieved by a freak heat wave. Benton was beaten up by visible forces. A local white witch claims she's seen the devil. Yates, I see. Yes, sir. I know it sounds a bit wild. Brigadier, yes, it does indeed, Yates. But listen, I'm bringing up some men to investigate the heat seat barrier. Let me talk to the doctor over. The Coven Heat Bar, bar oh, Coven Hood Bar, Yates. Afraid you can't stay. He's gone up to the dig with Joe. Over. But he don't see you. Yeah, I see. Well, Yates, any further revelations? 
Yates, just one, sir. Well, but you know, well, what of it? Yates, oh, see, we found out who the bottom of this. It's the master, over and out. Quickly, master. Still alive, are you, doctor? Very well. Master goes, so his eyes are concentrated, his eyes twitching. twitching. And he goes and looks out the window. Baron, a doctor and Joe arrive at a dig to find Constable Bloom lying on the remains of the gate. Doctor, poor fellow. Do you know what killed him? Doctor, well, Joe, do you know what killed him, Joe? Well, sir, he wasn't the devil. Not, le- not at least, not exactly. Joe, what do you mean? What do you mean? Doctor, look, I'm going in. Would you prefer to wait outside, Joe? No, no I'd rather stick with you. I don't know oh, if I would, wouldn't be in the way. But no, of course not. I'm glad you've got to come here. Come on. I go down the tunnel in the middle of the mould. A stone creature with wings looks over the rise. I go over from the church cabin. Barrow chamber, the stone steel in the cha- chamber. The stone steel in the chamber had been blasted away. The doctor looks around with a torch. Joe, what are you looking for? Dodge my fury. Right with all immortal danger. Do you have anyone in the village? Dot anyone in the whole world? Every, every, Joe, everyone in the village? Doctor, everyone in the whole world? Ah, you see them to the floor. Press it sort of way. Joe, what is it? Metal. Joe, it looks like a model like a spaceship. Doctor, that's right. It's set. This is a model. Joe, what is it then? Doctor, Joe, look at the size of the ship's tomb. Joe, well, it looks like that's that, like that spaceship. Doctor, a different size, that's all. Now you try picking it up. Joe, I can't fix down. Don't I get a reason why you can't pick it up? It weighs about 750 tons. Well, I guess. Joe, oh, come on, be serious, Doctor. Be serious? All right, about 100 years ago. Meanwhile, the Gogol's the name is Brook. Apparently, as the barrel goes down to terrorise the Doctor and Joe in the chamber.